If one of these is your idea of a precision measuring tool, you're in for a rude awakening uh, if you're going to try and build a guitar. Uh, measurements have to be very exact, especially with things like bridge placement. It's very worthwhile to invest in some quality measuring devices. I'm going to show you three that I use. Uh, first, just brief description, and then in a couple of cases, I'll show you a close-up uh, for a little bit more clarity. Starting with the cheapest one that I use a lot of is just a clear protractor. This one's from Westcott. Um, the 90 degrees is very accurate. And because it's clear, it allows me when I'm uh, working either on the actual piece of wood or paper layout to see what's underneath it so I can get an exact um, alignment and layout when I'm using it. I'll bet you I use this more than anything. Um, it's a six inch uh, protractor. Again, I've got this just off of Amazon and I want to say it was four dollars and change. But highly recommend that you get one of these. And I actually like these better than the metal ones. I do own a metal one, again, that's very accurate, um, because the clear plastic just really helps you visually as you're uh, lining things up. Another tool is just it looks like a simple steel uh, rule. And I actually got two, again, it was an Amazon order. Uh, I want to guess 10 to $15. It was a foot uh, a long steel rule, and this one, which is 18 inches long. Uh, both are very handy for two reasons, or three really. One is their, their edges are very, being st the steel rule is milled very well. Um, it allows me also to use it just to check for things, uh, straight level. I can check uh, whether there's a fret out of, out of alignment and so on. It's also, uh, one side is inch measurement, fractional inch measurement, and the other side is in millimeters. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but you'll see that as you, I'm sure, if you've gone through catalogs, whether Stuart McDonald's or you go online and you look at uh, something like Luthier's Mercantile or all sorts of uh, places, sometimes you're seeing measurements in inches, sometimes you're seeing measurements in millimeters, uh, and when it's inches, sometimes it's decimal inches, sometimes it's fractional inches. So it's good to have uh, devices that allow you to use all three of the measurement types. Which brings me to my last, and the most expensive, which is a good digital caliper. This again is indispensable. It's extremely accurate. Uh, allows me to check all sorts of things. I can check the depth uh, for uh, stopped drill holes or uh, if I'm routing out something I want to make sure say if I'm routing out uh, where the pickups are going to go and I want it to be a specific depth. I can use this uh, checking the width, checking the length very accurately, um, the inside diameter of a hole, anything you can think of this will measure. The other nice thing about it is being a digital caliper is built in it has a converter tool. I want to take a minute and just show you a close-up here of the digital caliper to demonstrate what I meant about being able to use it as a conversion tool. Uh, this is the uh, stud insert that I'm going to be using for the, for the bridge of the guitar that I'm going to be building. Um, supposedly it has a 7 16 inch diameter, which would mean I'd be drilling a 7 16 inch hole in the body for mounting this. Uh, but I always want to double check. Uh, so I can take the caliper, slide this in here until it's just touching. And lo and behold, get this where you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. It's 7 sixteenths. What I can do is just by pressing this button, that tells me it's 11.06 millimeters. And if I wanted it in inches but decimal, it's 0.355. So you can see how accurate this gives it to me. So highly recommend all three. It's probably for these three tools under $50 for sure. And use them all the time, not even just for guitar building. Um, I they're indispensable. So if you don't already own them, get them. I almost forgot probably the most indispensable measuring advice I can give you, which is when you can, use the actual part rather than even what the manufacturer is telling you or what you think the measurement is supposed to be. For example, when I'm laying out either on a uh, template or the, a paper template or on the actual body and neck is that if I want to look to see where the fret's going to be located, I don't use a ruler. I use a fretboard. Um, this is the one that's actually going to go on the, um, the guitar I'm going to be building. The 
a fret slots are already cut into it, so it gives me the exact measurement of where things are going to be. And I don't have to worry about, again, converting millimeters, inches, anything like that. Just use the actual part. It's always going to give you the, the most accurate measurement. 